Hello and welcome to a new video about programming my WS2812P rings LEDs here. Actually what we want to do is that we want to select a color on my handheld device here, uh, which is then processed and I can select the color of this turning ring. Yeah? So uh, that's actually it. This, this, should, this should be how it should work. Yeah? So I'm currently now selecting a color, let's say some greenish one. Okay, then I'm receiving a color. Look at that. This is what we received. This is actually what, what, we, we, what we received. So, how to select this? How, how to process this? Yeah? So right now it's not changing the color. It's just writing, okay, I've got a new color code. And in previous video I already shown, okay, that's hexadecimal. Actually, what do we see there? Well, we see there red value. We see a hashtag. We don't need this hashtag, right? We see a red value. We see a green value. Red value is 9F. We see a green value, FF. And we see a RGB blue value, 0. All right? So all we have to do is store, is extract this information from there and store it. So actually, uh, I want this to be fit. I want this to be fit that uh, this is not uh, that we could also subscribe other topics. So the first thing I do is I'm comparing uh, the topic string. Compared to my topic. Right now I've only subscribed one, yeah, but all right. Yeah. So I'm comparing this now. And if they are equal, I'm inside here. Yeah. Then I make a character buffer, which is exactly seven long. Yeah. Why seven? Because I need two for red, two for green, two for blue, and the seventh one for ending this with a, a zero byte. Okay, C string, C string uh, version. So, and I now make for i equals zero, and i uh, maybe I should. I will make this because what if I receive something and I have not seven. Let's see, buffer from i equals payload from i plus one. Why i plus one? Because I want to get rid of this leading hashtag. However, this might run into problems. I will also say if length equals seven, Then I will do this. Yeah? And at the last position of the buffer, I will write a zero byte. Backslash zero, fill it up with zero. Zero terminated string, this is now inside this buffer. Right? So, uh, if I'm done everything correct, I will print. Received color code and I can write this buffer. All right, so now I should be rid, I should be rid of this uh, hashtag. The rest should stay the same, should be the same. Let's upload this. Uh, and look, uploading, let's see, 
I now the only thing I've managed now, or I think I've managed, is that I get this payload uh, and cut away the the uh, hashtag, the leading hashtag. Let's wait until it is connected. Okay, we are connected. Uh, I should make this small. Uh, other color. Let's make a red color. Red. All right. Yeah. So this is now this. This worked. This worked. And now let's start to uh, separate these things. So <laughs> split to R. G and B values. How to do this? I first need some, some variables. I will simply make them there. Uh, so I will use int red and I will initialize this with red, yeah, with the origin, with the standard red. Yeah. I will use green. I will initialize this with green yeah? and I will use blue and I will initialize this with the blue value. So that way, if we don't have received anything, there are already some RGB values. So how is red? Uh, red uh, First, I need to have a number. And there's a str too long uh, stroll version. Yeah. And what do we like to buffer? Uh, no end and base 16. So it's hexadecimal. Uh, now inside the number, there is now the number, uh, which is represented by the buffer. Uh, so I have now, this is changing the string to an integer, to a long value actually. So the red is the first one. So number shift 16 to the right. Okay, 16 bits to the right. The upper eight bits, there it is. This is red. This was easy. Yeah. Then we have green. Yeah. This is number, and now we shift it only eight bits. Yeah. And what else do we have to get? We have to end with ff, yeah, with the byte x ff. So only the lower eight bits are there. Okay. The upper ones, I don't care. Yeah. This is green, and this is blue, and in blue. I only have to say number logic land 0xff. Okay? Because actually, how it looks like, yeah? we have here from bit yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 red values, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 green values. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 blue values. This is the bit order. Yeah? And here, shift right 16 means I shifted right 16. So this is this is got lost, this is lost, and I only leaving the arch. Yeah? So what this will only leave under 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looking like this. Yeah. And here, this starts the same way. Yeah. Then the first thing which is happening, shift it right. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. This is left. And then we say und and. I'll write it in the next line. And logic and zero and here ones. So the result is that R's are all zero 
Yeah? And the only left thing is green. Yeah? Because it's a logical end. And something, whatever is behind this bit, n0 is always 0. All right? And the same is working here. So we are actually having this. And we say it's a logical end. But ooh, <laughs> all right. So the only thing it's called masking. Okay, the only thing which is left is the blue value. So if I'm really correct, I will print that print R. Red RGB red green blue red green blue looking good looking good yeah. let's see if this is working let's see if this is working upload this stuff This time I want to select something bluish. Okay, let's see here this nice blue. Yes, okay. So I'm prepared already. I only have to wait until it's ready uploaded and connected, of course. Connected. Okay, send. Okay. Ah. Uh -huh. R0, 142, 255. Okay, the only thing which is not happening right now is that we are not putting it out. Okay, why we're not putting it out? This actually is working, this is nice. Uh, where we put it out? Here somewhere in the loop, what I can remember. Ah, here it is. Ha, huh? see, it's red, green, blue. So we only have to replace this by the variables. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue. I'm still using red, green, first green blue i'm still using the compile down constants here so and using constant does not change anything so now actually now it should work upload this and now i'm already eager to know what is happening now i'm already eager to know what is happening Okay, uploading. I'm already preparing. Which color do I want to see? Green, green, something green. Yeah. So that we, I hope this can be seen easily on with the camera. Colors and so on is always a difficult topic. Okay. We are connected, we are connected. Alrighty, so, okay. Oh, this is green! <laughs> Ooh, select another color. Blue. And it is blue! Isn't it great? Just sitting here with my telephone. Let's see, some, some light blue. Or marine, or... Wow! Doesn't it look cool? Red? Red. This is how it's working, right? So I publish a color code here. Huh? Publish the color code, receive the color code, and turn on the LEDs accordingly. Huh? Very dark. It's getting darker also. 
I can dim <lacht> Black off. Cool. Now if this is not cool, I don't know what it is. Yeah. So you see, it's not that difficult. It just took some some videos to show you in a very detailed way. Hmm? Alright. So this is how this is working. This WS2812B even with remote control via MQDD. Yeah, so feel free to produce whatever you like. There are a lot of variants of this WS2812B. 12 b There are also different types, not only the 2812B. They can be controlled by the same uh, uh, fast LED library and so on. This is working pretty nice, I would say. Yeah, so you can make your disco <laughs> for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.